Hey, what's going on? Zinkoto here. Today, I'm going to be starting my Ninja Gaiden 3 Razor's Edge 100% playthrough on the Xbox 360. This is going to be my very first playthrough, so I'm going to be playing through the game on normal difficulty so I can kind of familiarize myself with the uh, mechanics and the gameplay. But anyways, uh, let's begin. So I actually have some past experience with the um, the other Ninja Gaiden games. I played the original Ninja Gaiden and uh, Ninja Gaiden Black on the uh, on the original Xbox, and I also played through Ninja Gaiden 2 on the Xbox 360. Um, I know there's a, there's gonna be some differences here, and you have to kind of work towards upgrading and get, getting some abilities as you progress through the game. The progression system's a bit different. Um, I'm gonna go with standard Ryu. Wait. I see. To the left is barely visible. I'm gonna keep it there. I don't want the brightness to be too low. Hayabusa Village, Japan. The location where a lot of the uh, games in the series revolve around one of the main locations. Call me Ishigami. Ministry of Defense. External Affairs. A special agency within the Ministry. Think of us like you ninja. And? She will provide you with the details. Mizuki McLeod, Japan Air Self-Defense Force Special Security Unit, Flight Officer First Class. Yesterday, an unknown group launched a terrorist attack in London. They've taken control of the area around the Prime Minister's residence. So why me? What do you need my help for? <laughs> oh no. We don't need your help. You need ours. Mizuki, show him the video. This was just sent to us by the government. Bring us Ryu Hayabusa! Bring us Ryu Hayabusa! It's you they want. Ryu Hayabusa. It looks like some of those scenes were um, the Black Spider Ninja Clan from Ninja Gaiden 2. Hayabusa, can you hear me? Yeah, go ahead. All civilians have been evacuated. Any armed soldiers down there are fair game. The hostages are in the Prime Minister's residence, right? Yes. I'll monitor the situation and guide you from the air. Be careful, Hayabusa. Okay, so I need to use the analog plus A to glide down from my spot. So that's a falcon dive. Huh. Oh, okay, cool. That was pretty that was pretty neat. Oh, something uh, I forgot to note. But um I'm gonna be trying to go through I'm gonna be going through the game and try to get as many achievements as I can. I'm also gonna go, be going for these tests of valor, which there's like ten throughout the game. Uh, they're like mini challenges. And I'm also gonna be collecting all of the golden scarabs. Which are the collectibles in this game? So wait, hold the. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, nice. Obliteration technique. Okay. Garden of aid. Yep. I don't think I can do counter attacks yet. Technique, nice. I need to, I need to evade a little bit more. Right now, I'm just trying to pick up the controls. Okay. So I can learn some skills here. So I can level up the uh, dragon sword. Oh wait, fifteen thousand. Not quite there. Flying swallow counter attack. Okay, parry an enemy attack and follow up the unit strike while guarding. Press Y or X when the enemy attacks. Uh, I don't think I really have enough for anything. Okay. Oh, slide. Okay. Wait, something's there. I remember in the other games, the uh, it was actually like a dash or something, or like the evade was more of like a like a uh, more like a dash and a slide. So wait, what is this whole sense thing? Okay, I have to go that way. Yeah, let's get out of here. Holy crap. Things messing me up. Nearby. Hurry. Okay. Alright, so it should be near the um, the first golden scarab. Looks like you got rid of it. We can't do anything with that thing around. Down here? Oh there it is, yeah. All right, golden scarabs. Golden scarabs are sc scattered throughout the world. Gather many scarabs to receive powerful blessings. Okay. Dead end. You have to find another. It gives me route. karma, so I can go for upgrades. Nice, nice. work, ninja. Oh, I can't get that one. Okay. Another Jacko Ripper. So we're his fucking so about to give us another ten. No sign of target yet. Slightly walk, sneak up. Roger that. Keep looking. Okay, cool. Oh. That's a huge rocket launcher. Alright, good luck, buddy. Okay, before I jump down there. Okay, so there's gonna be another golden scarab down there. Wait, what? Oh, I could have dodged that, I didn't realize. Oh well. My mistake. Okay. 
Oh. Oh, that's cool. Got to charge up an ultimate technique there. I mean, some of these mechanics are going to make sense to me just because I played the uh, first two games. I'm trying to counter, but I know I don't have a counter. That's why I'm getting a hit from these dumb hits. Yeah. I'll have to work towards a counter. Alright, how do I switch? Okay, press the back button to be able to get into here. Yeah, I think I want the counter. Well, actually, let me see. Uh, four rings and unleash, unleash a storm of shurikens in all directions. Okay, no. Flying Karma that sounds pretty good, though. I know that's a pretty useful move in the Ninja Gaiden games. Fly through the air to cut down an enemy. Move the directional stick and press Y while jumping. It's pretty good for closing the distance on enemies, um, such as enemies with uh, projectile weapons. Guillotine throw. No. Actually, I'm going to go with a flying swallow for now. I think this would probably be a pretty good first move. Yeah. <laughs> Is that how you feel, buddy? You hear that guy? He said, fuck you. I don't think so. Hmm. Oh, okay. That's weird. Alright, save. Falcon's Talons. A unique evolution of a ninja's traditional hand-mounted claws. Cool, we got a new weapon. Okay, there's the second Golden Scarab. I was gonna wait until after that fight. Okay. That's cool. I mean, if you get lost, you can use the uh, Ninja Descent Path. But uh, this game is pretty straightforward, so it shouldn't be a problem. Oh. Okay. <laughs> That's quite cool. So what is it in my combo when I went for the, um, I, I, when I went for that uh, obliteration technique or whatever, it ended my combo. So yeah, that's the input. If I had the uh, Izuna drop unlocked, that would be, that'd be the Izuna drop. X, Y, X, 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 Y. Yeah. It's one of my favorite moves in the, the Ninja Gaiden series. Love these games so much. So satisfying. Damn. These guys are all over me. Let's clean them up. Oh, come on. Damn it, guys. You guys are relentless. Alright, let's get this dickhead out of the way. He's been constantly going at me with this stupid, uh... Rockets. Wait, block. 
What do I do with that guy? That is the guy with a shield. Do I just need to block and wait for you to wait for him to open up, I guess? No, I can okay, I can destroy the shield. Got it. Actually, you know what? Let's get this. Yeah, I need to get this counter. Alright, counter attack. Yes. Wall guard and press wire X when the enemy attacks. Oh. Oh shit. Alright, let's see if I get my golden sphere up. So I think I saved after. No, wait, no, I think it. Okay, no, this game's based on checkpoints. Okay. Give me a checkpoint of sorts after I grab it, I guess. Yeah, I want to get that counter then. Yeah, I just need to take some time to familiarize myself with the controls of this game. Maybe not be so reckless, but... Oh, it's been a long, long time since I played one of these. Okay, so if I go for a... Uh... So my combo automatically drops if, if I go for the info, which is really lame. Ooh. Alright. Shit. I hate when these guys grab me. insane. Nice, I like the counter. These guys are a lot more defensive than the other enemies. I gotta be careful this bomb or something. Oh, that's... That gets annoying. Okay. Enemies from the helicopter. Deal with them while they're out of it. Oh, thanks, buddy. That helicopter just swooped through and helped me out. Oh, that was, a, that was okay. That was one people I was working with. That one group. Thanks for the help. Much appreciated. Okay, before I move on, there's a. Another golden scarab. Last car on the right. Okay. All right. Cool. I think it might just be best to go for stealth kills here. Oh shit. Come on. Where the hell are you? Okay. Hey, I think I saw something. 
No. Fuck you. Okay, that was bad. Yeah, that's what we want to do. I didn't want to go from though, because there's those guys that are picking me out. Hey. Shit, it's not him. <clears throat> Can't find him anywhere. That's some crazy fog right there. Let's get the hell out of here. Whoa! Holy shit! Okay. Yeah. 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 So evade until a strong attack. No. Holy crap. This legs hurt a lot. Okay, I think I'm supposed to be. Okay, yep. Yeah. Attacking these back legs. Got it. So I just need to evade around the boss. Hit these legs. Or something. Oh my crap, you turned too fast. But to say, I didn't want to do. I didn't want to fight these one guys again. Take this thing down. Shitload of damage even that though. It doesn't even really seem to hit. Oh, that is doing damage. Just very minimal. There we go. That's what I like to see. Thing, I don't know. Oh shit. Huh. Getting thermal readings from inside the smoke. Now falling swallows seem to be pretty pretty effective on the uh, legs. I hate trying to constantly turn with turn with them. I think it might be best to weaken all of them. Just so I'm not doing the other phases. Or I'm not in other phases as well. Shit. I mean, if we're being, if we're being on normal difficulty, this is actually kind of hard. Yeah, I mean, Ninja Guns games are already been hard, but this just seems a bit hard for being on normal. You guys have way too much health. Could be an easier way. Yeah. 
Sponge is just really stiff. Like I'm not stunning him or anything with any of these attacks, so. I'm getting there. Health's a bit low though. Okay, I definitely like the flying swallow tactic. Just a sword. Amazing. Ooh. Right into that. I gotta start doing the uh, dash jumps because I think. I don't have I don't really have invincibility frames in the dash jump, but the dashes I do. Well, I mean the evades. The I'm used to doing like an evade jump because Get out of there, Hayabusa, regroup. Oh, I think that's what I need to do. That right there. No. I was just restart that fight if you can. No, can't. Okay. Right, let's go ahead and kill us at least, because I already took a lot of damage this beginning. That flamethrower does a ton of damage, so I gotta be careful. It's easy to evade though, but. Getting thermal readings from inside the smoke. Get out of there, Hayabusa. Regroup! No. We can take this thing down. But yeah, I like that tactic though, trying to stay in the first phase. And weaken each leg as much as possible. Because once you once you destroy one leg, then you start the boss gets more aggressive. So this seems, seems to be the best tactic, I think. I wonder if taking um, out two legs on one side would make the boss like not be able to turn as fast. Ooh, caught me there. Okay. Nice. So remove the armor on those. And just work away around. Oh, yep. So that's what happens sometimes with that flying swallow. I hit the front leg and it made me bounce and right, it lined me right up for his flamethrower. While the flamethrower is really easy to dodge, I put myself in a position where it was able to hit me and I didn't have enough time to get out of the way of it. So, while the flying swallow is probably the faster tactic, it's also more risky. But I don't like I don't like these middle legs because I don't like getting near the front legs at all. The backside seems to be the best way, uh, part of being around the boss. Come on. There we go. Let's focus on these legs here on the side. Trying to move out and in with a flying swallow. Flying swallow. Move out. Flying swallow, move out. No. See, now I move towards the front. So now it takes forever for me to turn around the boss. There we go. Just a sword. Amazing. Oh, I think I have to actually just do hard evade attacks. Yep, I was correct. If I uh, if I take out two legs from one side, it makes it way easier. Hell yeah. Take it out. You got it. Let I climb up. That's beautiful.
That reminds me of Raiden from the Metal Gear Rising games. Such power. Whenever I was cutting through the this the Roger. that robot's legs. All right, cool. Now, this is a pretty good tactic. You just gotta remove the uh, armor, and then you go in for a strong attack, and it'll um, put you into like a button prompt. That lets you uh, instantly cut the leg off, so pretty good tactic using the Flying Swallow. 